Parliament's Public Protector Ad Hoc Committee published the 59 names who will be considered for shortlisting to finally choose a new public protector to take up the position in November this year. Amongst these candidates are constitutional expert Professor Pierre de Foss, Western Cape High Court Judge Saraj Desai and EFF Chairperson Advocate Dalim Bofu. NN7 correspondent Kevin Brandt compiled this report. The nomination process to select a new public protector officially has closed. Now it's time for the public to give their view on the nominated candidate before the shortlisting process can kick off. The deadline for public comment is on Friday, 8th July. The names and CVs of candidates can be accessed via Parliament's website and social media platforms. When you click on a person's a name, you will, it will take you uh, to a candidate's CV. Members of the public are thus encouraged to scrutinize these names and CVs and send their comments or objections to vramano at parliament.gov.za for the attention of Mr. Bonani Ramano. The shortlisting process is scheduled to take place after the local government elections of the 3rd of August, after candidates have been interviewed. The committee will also conduct its own vetting process, separate from that of the state security agency. There will be the next phase of vetting, which will be, we will do our own vetting, as I said, where we, where we verify the qualifications and so forth. We are going to be working with some institutions who are going to uh, assist us in terms of getting that information, in, in terms of making sure that we have, that, that the, the nominees have, have given us the information that they claim to have. The multi-party nature of this committee was also stressed with Chairperson Dr. Makosi Koza saying she was not mandated by Lutuli House on how to steer this process. In, in as far as the specific process is concerned, I can tell you that the no Lutuli House has directed me to speak to anybody or whatsoever. Um, the only thing that I have been doing has been to consistently brief my whip in terms of how far is the process. And like any key individual, whether it's speaker or anybody else who wants to know how is the process going, I have to tell them that this is how the process is going. The race is on to select a candidate that will replace Advocate Tuli Madonsela as public protector. ADO Committee Chairperson Dr. Makosi Koza stressed the importance of the public's involvement in the selection process adding that the selected individual will have to find their own moral compass not to allow themselves to be manipulated. Kevin Brandt, ANN7 Parliament.